This is a keyboard. No, wait, that's not true. This is a keyboard. Well, I guess that's not true either. But what's beautiful about this and this is that you can plug them into your computer and have it act as a keyboard or as a mouse or as a macro pad or whatever you want. You see, the chip on this, which is a uh, Arduino Pro Micro clone, uh, also works with the Arduino Leonardo and associated clones, um, is a Mega 32U4. Instead of having a chip that sort of does the translation between this chip and your computer, the 32U4 has that built right in the silicon in here. So I'm going to show you how to make your own keyboard or macro pad or whatever. I mean, this is kind of a macro pad and it's a lot easier than you think. So first things first, uh, this is how it's hooked up. So pin two, three, four, five, and six, um, just along this side here, but there are more digital pins you can use and even analog pins, but that's for a different video. Um, all they are is they are connected to one side of a switch, the other side of the switch connected to ground. So as you can see here, a little bit of a mess, but this is the ground wire here and here's the individual um, wires for the pins. Next, we have to bring you over to the computer and I'll show you just how easy it is to turn this into a keyboard. So here is the code. And in fact, I will show you the source where I got this code uh, momentarily. But first, let me just go over it. It's actually super simple. So first things, you just include the keyboard and mouse.h libraries. Simple as that. Uh, there are no libraries to download. This is all default in Arduino uh, IDE. I have 1.8.19 at the moment, but uh, pretty much any future one will have this as well. Then all I'm doing is declaring pin A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, in my case, it's the far left all the way to the far right and pins two, three, four, five, and six. You actually don't have to declare them as variables, but this makes it easy if you have a long sketch, you can just go and change this number if you change the physical pin on your project. Then in the setup, we are making our pins input pull-ups. That means we're using an internal resistor to pull up to five volts. So the pin uh, two, three, four, five, and six will constantly be reading high unless we short it to ground. And don't forget, that's how we connected the buttons. Next, in the void loop, um, I have a couple examples here of how to use this library. So firstly, uh, if pin A is low, then we can send a character. So a character, you go keyboard.write, and then single quotes and the character you want to send. And that's literally going to send a capital A uh, because that is what it does. Whatever is between these single quotes, the character, it will send. I put a 500 millisecond delay because if you don't, it's going to repeat the command. So, you know, 500 millisecond is just kind of enough to like press and remove your finger. But if you keep your finger down, it'll keep sending A. Next, if pin B is low, then we'll send a keyboard dot print command dot print lets you send a string. So double quotes and then whatever you type in here will be sent through the Arduino. For pin C, I have the print LN command keyboard dot print LN. And that's the same thing as keyboard dot print uh, with the double quotes, except it will send a return after. So you'll have your type, your, it'll, you'll type something and then it will give you a new line after. For pin D, um, we're using the mouse library. So mouse.press and mouse.release. So press will press and hold until you release. Make sure you release whatever you press. So here I have the right click and then a hundred millisecond delay and then the right click will release. And finally for pin E, um, it'll be print line again, and just subscribe to Simple Electronics, you know, for simple things like this. And the beauty is the Arduino is already plugged in. So if you just go to notepad here, pressing switch A, there we go, sending an A character. I'm going to press enter, press switch B, 
So you press switch B, going to press enter, press switch C. You have pr press switch C, but you see we're already, uh, we have the return already included. And then switch D, it right clicks. Pretty neat. And then pin E, subscribe to Simple Electronics. And I can just hold that down and every 500 milliseconds, it'll spam it. It's probably gonna spam it until you've subscribed. So, you know, get going. As for where you can find all these commands, um, I will link you to this page and I'll probably make a write up on my website eventually. So you'll find that link down there too, eventually. Um, but SparkFun has a great article how to uh, do a HID keyboard. However, this article is old. It's uh, 10 years old at the time of this recording. So maybe back then you didn't have to include the two libraries, the keyboard and mouse.h, uh, but today you do have to do that. So it shows you all of the keyboard commands, right and the character. So like Z, for example, uh, print and the string, um, you know, with the, the double quotes, and then the print LN is to print a line. And then they give you a project to do with these keypads. So this thing makes an easy macro keyboard, which is pretty neat. And then the HID mouse, so left, right, and middle click, and all three mouse buttons. But as well, you can move the X and the Y and the wheel, so you can actually move along the screen, move the cursor along the screen, which is pretty neat. And then non-ASCII characters, it's a little bit more complex, but not too, too bad. And so, yeah, with just this website and a little bit of time, you'll be able to turn your Pro Micro into a keyboard and or mouse. Let me know if you're interested in more videos where I cover the mouse and or keyboard usage with a Pro Micro. Like, do you want me to build these kinds of projects? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.